<laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Dago here, and welcome to Hatiful Boyfriend, a dating sim that has a bit of a twist in that apparently all of the um, prospective young gentlemen are pigeons? Why? I don't know. We're going to find out. This game was given to me as a gift, we'll say, from uh, Kate, who you guys, if you guys have been keeping up with the Don't Starve Together or the other multiplayer games that we've done on this channel, she has played before on this channel and uh, simply seemed to think that I must play this game. This is my very first dating sim, so... I have no idea what I'm doing. This is not my typical kind of game. St. Pigeonations Institute. Oh, great. Welcome to St. Pigeonations. Please enter your name. Okay. First name is not Hiyoko. It is Degaram. <coughs> and also apologize in advance. I'm sick again. Hopefully I'm getting over it more quickly than the last time, but if I have to uh, turn and cough every now and then, please forgive me. My last name, um, um, mm. that is a good question. Um, now I'm really stumped. De uh, what's it? There we go. We'll just go with that, shall we? Is Degram what's it okay? Absolutely. Yes. Hatiful Hato Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits. Yes. Configuration saved. Okay. <clears throat> a little loud. Okay, that's better. St. Pigeonations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. <clears throat> I should probably say, the school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pigeonations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a, a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Hmm. <clears throat> Ryuta! Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Degarum. Overslept? <coughs> oh, hi there. You have red eyes. Y Ryota Kawada. This rock dove has na is named Kawada. Well, you're gonna switch it on me. Okay, fine. This rock dove is named Kawada Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Okay. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. That was a little awkward way to phrase that red meat. Uh oh. Oh, the bell already! Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. <clears throat> and so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make f up for all that lost fun. All that lust fun, huh? First term. The most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon, and for the pigeon. I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, everybody. Er, uh, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics, and also some other things. S Sir, wake up, it's homeroom. 
he sleeps with his eyes open. That's weird. Don't tell me the teacher is one of the options. That's freaky. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously soporific math professor. <laughs> I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. <clears throat> ah, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shiogane. Oh gosh. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, well, uh, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? <sighs> Shirogane, le bel sakuya. Okay. Oh, golly. Of course you would look like that. It seems this fantail is Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. I hope we can be friends. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I'm sure we're going to be great friends. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Mm -hmm. Lunch already? Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, do you want something from me? <clears throat> He looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything to with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if, as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm what's at Dagoram. Oh, they switched it on me. A sophomore. What about you? <clears throat> You're... Nageki. Fujishiro Nageki. Freshman. <clears throat> Is that supposed to be a female? It's hard to tell with birds, you know. Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, I hate being sick. Maybe- Oh, it is a man! <laughs> Him! Okay. Golly. Birds! Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Okay, so you guys are gonna have to forgive me in advance because it's really hard to tell what kind of voices I should be doing for birds apart from the music, and then I finally get the description. So I might change some voices a little bit as we go. So this one, this one's a sad bird, so we're gonna have a sad voice. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. <clears throat> okay, sorry to bother you. <clears throat> Excuse me, good gracious. Ah, I keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... Uh-oh. You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya, what kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? After all these years. My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... Wow. Rude. I guess even if we're in the same school, now what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' men, Sakazaki Yuya, is Sakiya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey! You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? I'm sorry! I didn't mean to listen in on you! 
no sweat. I try to say sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. Ugh. Okay. This fantail pigeon is Sakazai- Sak- blah. It's hard to say these with a stuffed up nose. Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous, or infamous, throughout the school. Every birdie knows him. Oh gosh, it's gonna be hard to keep track of all the voices. You're a Dagoram, right? How did you- I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class. That's all. I'd never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. <laughs> aristocrat wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. The gen genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain. So good luck, mon ami. Adieu. Oh, heavens. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. Yes, love child. I'm guessing if you can have a love child for birds. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Hope he didn't eat any rice. Excuse me. No birdies here. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. Oh my gosh, my hunter-gatherer instincts? Okay. There's no birdie here. Ryota? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Yeah, that's a laugh. <laughs> Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Ethylplar, eth ethylpar, trife, leukiobenzene. What do these even do? Care to find out? Oh, good gracious. D -d -d doctor I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm? Oh, gosh. No, thank you! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Why are they playing the dance of the sugar plum fairies for you? Oh gosh, the school doctor. Sorry, I've had run-ins with doctors in other games, and I don't trust you. Where's your mask, you know? This partridge is Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person, and has a bad reputation among the student body. Every birdie knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus, psittacosis, or even worse things. And I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? <clears throat> you don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be in here. Hmm? Him? He's already gone. Oh, why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. You won't be going anywhere! No. Ah, finally out of that den of evil. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. Good gracious, is there ever going to be a break? I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school, and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. It's not very nice. I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Cuckoo! This is no pudding for- wait, is that what the translation? This is no pudding for a man. Oh, it is a translation. Coo! Okasan rejects it! It is a lie! A vicious falsification! He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. Oh gosh! <laughs> uh, there's something wrong with your head. This is Okasan. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon. I think? Either way, he's hyper. Okasan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal! 
A trail? Koo! Akusan instructed that pudding be provided for new members. But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street, and shot by those he trusted most. Blowing out the speaker. <laughs> it's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks normal. Store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Cuckoo! Spare the jests, young lady! Akasan used wing attack. It's super effective. Coo! They'll rue the day they crossed Akasan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn he will. Coo! <laughs> I can't, I can't. Straight face is not my, um, not my forte here, but I'll do my best here, guys. Akasan was now trained to achieve true pudding. Farewell. And he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? Oh my gosh, thank goodness that's over. Oh. Uh, ah. Uh. And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations. Ugh. Er, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Cool! Okusan has time only for the crack tr uh, the crack team. <laughs> the track team! <laughs> Slip of the lip. <laughs> That's good. What about you, Shiragane? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism, ho. Don't we get to vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Join the... Oh, I have options. Ooh. Student council, track team, or the library staff. You know, I would rather not voice Okasan if I can help it. And Sakuya is annoying as I'll get out. So how about the library staff? That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! Today's an elective day. What should I do? Well, whatever I should do, I think this is going to be a good place to stop for now. So thank you all so much for joining me for Hataful Boyfriend. I'm sure this is going to be a very entertaining game down the line and there will be lots of options for me to embarrass the snot out of myself with all these voices so let me know what you think down in the comments below which is your favorite pigeon so far and as always do subscribe for more shenanigans and i will see you next time